Greetings and hello, and welcome back to Shotgun King. We're playing as uh, uh, we're playing a rank five here, which means there's an uh, two knights. So we're we got a lot of a uh, little pieces on the board to deal with here. I'm gonna make it extra challenging. I'm using the default starting or gun here. I need to unlock, unlock more. I only have two unlocked. I need to try and get like maximum fire range or more shell capacity. I need to like carve my way past you guys and get back to you. We are we're not we're not slouching with the difficulty here. I think trying to clear all the all the pieces on the board to not viable on the higher rank difficulties. We need to uh, go for rushing down the king. Getting grenades early sounds pretty tempting, um, but I don't want. We already have two uh, knights, so I don't want them to, to get like more hit points, and I can't kill a king if they're alive. That could be a problem for us. Now I like this down here because uh, the last guardian after killing a pawn promote another pawn if it's the last one. I don't think there's gonna be many uh, rounds where I kill every single pawn, so this is basically not really gonna come into play. And we can get the buff of having a 30% chance to pierce uh, when we shoot these guys, which is, hey, just, you know, extra damage for free, right? No real downside. Might, use, might as well use my uh, uh, knight right away. I, I can't talk. I don't know why. I just got done recording Territorio for like an hour, and I was talking just fine. But all of a sudden now, the words, they they elude me. I need you guys to be kind of gone out of my way. I don't trust you any farther than I can throw you there, my man. Also, throwing pieces is a thing you can do in this game. Oh, the, 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 the shooting through them, it's great here. And I need to take you out, beautiful floor two, easy peasy done. All right, my choices as far as what I give them is Core of the King, which is gonna add four power pieces to their board, but it does make all their pieces lose speed, which is kind of like, it's a lot of pieces, but they move slower, I guess. Um, or I can do this, which removes the Knight and adds two bishops, so they basically gain one power piece. Uh, but this gives me every 10 turns, I get plus one firepower, which is really nice if the battle's going for a long time. And this, I mean, Andrew Pieces, this is like, like, this is like the slow them down card. This is like the more power card. Let's go for the more power card. You know, that extra firepower on turn 10 is going to be nice. Even on turn 20, perhaps. All right, let's use my little Knight Soul. Get over here, a little bit of mobility. What am I having a, a bishop for that early mobility would be nicer, I suppose. I will use this over here and kind of start. Oh, no, never mind. We're in check. That's a little inconvenient there. I need you guys to get blasted away. I'll hang on to that bishop for later. You are... You guys are not going to make it easy for me to take this guy out, are you? That's fine. Wait, did I pierce kill something up there? I might have. I'm okay with it if I did. I need you guys to not with all of this. You're on the same colored tile, which is great for me. Honestly, maybe I can take out all the pawns, but I don't want to because the last one gets promoted. I need more bullets for you. A more firepower. What are we at? Six power now? Fantastic. That's great. All the extra power coming in handy. All right, uh, on floor four, they get the queen coming in either way. So it doesn't matter in that regard. Interesting, cannon fodders. If, use pawn soul to get plus two firepower in the next shot. So if I like, can you even get a soul of a pawn? Is that a thing? How, or is it like if you kill a pawn, the next turn you get plus two firepower? It sounds kind of neat, but then again, knight, bane, blade, plus three. Having blade three is pretty good because pawns, I think, have three hit points. Um, I guess I, guess I should have gone for the, the blade gun instead, but I just, you just never know if you're going to get the knight bane or not, but... I'll take that blade plus three. I wish I could predict what cards I was going to get so I know which gun to take going in. Just kind of like guessing and it seemed to be guessing wrong every time. Last time I picked the gun blade, nothing. This time I picked the, I didn't pick it. Should have got it. Just, just, it's just not working out. Luck is not being a lady. I really don't want to deal with that queen up there. It's going to be a problem. The old queen going to be an issue for us. Could I land a shot? Am I, am I going to be checkmated right here? I move here and you check me. I can use my bishop to move out or check me. I can move my bishop to get out of the way there. So I move down here with the bishop and please land some shots. More firepower. Good. Take the queen out. That's what we needed. I'll take that queen card. Need you gone, sir. And I can just ignore you by stealing off the all those tiles there, bishop friend lord. You have so much hit points. I need you to not have all those hit points. I get more firepower. The king's actually moving away from me. Just interesting. Normally, they like to move closer. There we go. Another floor done. And these uh, higher ranks are not playing around the difficulty. So down here we have Bloodless Coup. Pawns can't attack me, uh, but as soon as I kill a pawn, uh, they can't attack you. I find it to be kind of useful, but not that great for the most part. Because you usually have to kill pawns to get back there, anyways. Um, the castle, maybe combine it with like the taunting where you jump over them uh, thing. Uh, castle here is not that big of a deal. It gives the rook uh, one extra hit points, and you have to kill the rooks before you can kill the king, which is a bit of inconvenient. There's only one on the board right now. Um, this right here, saboteur, take away two pawns is fine. Adding another bishop is a bit rough. That's more power pieces to deal with, but easier to get past the pawns. Also makes it easier for the queen to get out. 
and mess up my aim a little bit for one bullet. But it gives me subtle poison, which I really like because queens have less hit points, so is the king. And most importantly, for the first 15 turns, the queen can only move one tile at a time. And any pieces that promote, if they promote to a queen, doesn't matter if you're on turn 30 or whatever, the new queens that promote for the next 15 turns can only move one tile at a time, which is really, really good for me. That's the real value of the card, is like when they promote to a queen, the queen is basically uh, effectively a king for the first 15 turns, which is fantastic. I guess I'm going to move over to here first, because I got a nice clean line uh, shooting up here and doing some damage to all of you. You just had to be right there. Um, I don't want to risk getting destroyed by you, you angry, angry bishops. Oh boy, you guys are uh, you're not chilling the way I want you to chill here. Check, check, check. I guess we go here. Oh, oh I can I can kill you with a knife, but there you're... Oh, okay, this might be the end of us. I can slay you in one shot. I can slay you in one shot. I can slay uh, you in one shot, and then I can use the bishop's soul to get out of here. The, the knight's blade is making all the difference. I, uh, that's not good. That's not good. No. Uh, no. Oh, wait, I got the bishop's soul. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like panic. I can't move. Wait, I, I, I clearly have the tools to survive this. You, um, I'm not gonna risk the aim miss and get you out of here. I need you to chill. The blade is actually doing wonders for us. Ah, uh, you need to move over here, I think and shoot you a couple times. There we go, okay. Then we ignore you guys. And we have more firepower now. Okay, that was a that was a close one, but we made it. It was a bit dicey there. Now finding the bishop and the queen to be like the real souls to have, I think. I feel like getting the red book is dangerous since there's already like, what, three bishops on the board right now? And giving the ability to move orthogonally, you know, like horizontally and vertically, it seems a bit dangerous, but it will give me high focus, which improves my accuracy and gives me more firepower, which seems really nice. Over here, all I'm getting is plus one ammo and a chance of knockback. And sometimes knocking back enemies does more harm than good. Although if I hit get a 100% chance for knockback, like if I get this twice, then I unlock a new shotgun, which is tempting. Description is not so bad upon every five turns. Um, I'm going to take the risk. Uh, better aim, more firepower, but uh, we have to deal with the bishops being just absolutely cracked. So we'll see how this turns out for us. Famous last words. I need, honestly, I need more pawns on the board to kind of block these guys in. I think... I want to move over here. I wish I was on this tile so I could go over here, but luck isn't always a lady. Let's get up here, and I want to blast you away. That's good. I think I'm going to move here. Gotta move again, because you're not cooperating. Stop making me move constantly. It would be great. Over here. Oh, yo, give me a chance to make a move without being in check! Give me one chance! I have to shoot you. No! Really? Point blank? Five power? You miss? <sighs> then we try again. Then we try again and hope for better luck. I had five power. I was what? What? Like point blank? Point blank range with five power. I can't do four damage. You're kidding me. You're absolutely joking. You guys need to like calm down. The two of you. All right. Take it easy. Get rid of you. Claw my way through you guys so I can. Get up to that king, huh? You, sir, are in for a bad time. You may have bested me the last match, but this match will hopefully be a little bit different. Oh, hello, high focus right off the bat. This is one of my favorite cards, by the way. Grenades are tempting, too. I don't love giving you uh, rooks to back you up on turn 20. Also, they come in sooner the more of their pieces I kill. Ooh, losing some ammo is not great, but I mean, trading a pawn for a bishop's not so bad, and we got it. Like, it's it's just good. High high, uh, high damage, better accuracy. It's it's one of the best cards in the game. Let's use my bishop to get in there a little bit sooner. And like, just having one of them is like really, really solid. I'm going to use this just, you're probably going to check me for it. No, not from down here. Um, not working yet. I just rather have a, a, a bishop card when I start the next level just to be able to zoom my way up there is a uh, lovely. It's so good. These guys out here, you need to let's get a little bit farther away so we have a the full damage, and then we can just kind of blast you away. Oh, it's just so much better. It's such a better start. Well, this coup is okay. Um, for the reason I said earlier, assault at a pawn. Pawns can walk two squares on their first move. I mean, th them uh, ascending faster is not a great. Sacred Crown is actually really good, especially if you get more soul slots. Just getting free turns is really good. Anything that gets free turns is good. The Red Book is one of, th like, this is one of the better ones for me, but the Red Book is also really good for them, especially when they have more bishops, but uh, it's it's worth it to be able to just get free moves every time I use a soul. It's this greater than this, even though Red Book is kind of nasty to deal with. Uh, bishops are uh, tough to deal with, but look at that. Extra turn. And look at this. Oh, I got a thing. Ah, I, can, I can reload and get an extra turn. It's just good. Take you out or not. 
We do change in tiles. I mean, destroy you. Do I need to... I mean, I don't actually really need to move right now, so we can save it. You don't have to use it every time. It's not always useful to... Be gone, creature. How oh, there's still bishops on the board. Really mean that. I feel like I've destroyed so many of you. Do I... Do we actually turn? No, I want to keep this for uh, the next one. And I won't bother with you guys. I will instead work my way over to King and blast you away with my superior uh, shotgun. I mean, it makes sense he's run away. I've got a shotgun, right? Wouldn't you run away? They get the queen either way in floor four. Ritual dagger. Blade one is not great. Losing fire range is not great. King minus two is not great. Um, Blade one is okay, I guess. Blunder bust. I do love me some extra firepower. Losing fire arc is never great, but I think it's worth it when I already have, uh, you know, my actually a little bit improved. It's still gonna be seven firepower and 67. Like, my aim's not gonna be great, but, like, we're gonna... I'm just gonna be able to, like, blast away, like, just, like, a big old groups of the enemies. Plus, I get lots of extra turns, so the, the more I can, like... Oh, wait. If I kill that pawn, I lose, so please don't kill the... Aim a little bit this way. Don't kill the pawn. Killing the pawn would be bad because then the queen would insta-kill me. Let's, uh, move over here, extra turn, and blast away some damage. I need that queen to chill. You're always the knights, the sneaky checks out of nowhere. Oh, y'all need to take it easy. All right, extra turn. Love that for me. Okay, and, um, where can I move to get another extra turn? Because I need it. I'll move over here. Get you out of here. Never mind. Okay, that's... Uh-oh, um, here, here's a problem. I need to kill you in this shot, otherwise we're kind of trapped. Okay, extra turn, good. Uh, what do I do here? I think I move over here, the extra turn. Um, do I just shoot from here? No, no, you're gonna move probably here to check me. If I move up, you'll move there to check me. I'll move up. No, you went over there. I don't see it works out okay. Because I can move here, you move there to get me. I can, I, like, this hits you for sure. There's no chance every one of those pellets misses. Here's a problem. I need a path. No, I don't. I have an extra turn right here for me. Okay, remember, I need to be far, not touching anybody for extra damage. Um, do you promote? You don't promote if you kill the pawns. Do I clear the pawns just in case? Oh, I lucky I had the extra turn, otherwise I'd be dead there, right? I'm just going to try and get somewhere I'm not going to get checkmated by you. Get you off here. There we go. All right, now we're now we're cooking with gasoline here. Lovely, beautiful. I definitely don't want them to have conclave. I don't want them having you know, and I, like they they already have three bishops. I don't want them having five bishops at turn fifteen. If I haven't killed any, well, I probably would have. And bullets coup. It's all right. It's not that great. Um, plus nine, that many pawns. Wanda wings is always nice because you know you made oopsie. You can sometimes use the wanda wings to get yourself out of trouble. And analysis paralysis, not as bad as it sounds. Um, mostly these kind of like bounce around and oops, you're you're checked. And sometimes like it, you're kind of wasting turns moving forward anyway. So just kind of like them coming to you is honestly sometimes useful, right? You know, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world unless they get you in a really nasty check. Like, see, look, okay, now what? I just gotta like do this and just start shooting. Oh, this lack of aim is kind of like a real problem. There's no way I, went, I missed that, right? No, there was a bishop behind it! I didn't look at it! No! God, why? I really wish the game would warn you when you're attacking one piece, like, uh-oh, are you sure? You, like, that should be a shield thing. It should be like, uh-uh-uh! You be careful, the guy behind you might catch you. Just doesn't care. So the game tricks you. They, they give you the shields for a sense of false security, like, oh, if I make an oopsie, the shields will warn me. But then there's certain things the shields just don't warn you about. Like, if you kill this one, the piece behind it will get you. It doesn't warn you. It's like, do you want me to pay attention to all the possibilities or not with this game? Riddle me that. All right, well, we'll just kind of blast our way through these guys and just get the job done. Keep in mind, I'm also playing on a higher difficulty than I've ever played before. Not that that excuses, you know, just playing poorly, I suppose, but whatever, you know. We'll get the job done eventually. We got time. Might be the rest. This might be the last rest, the last run of the video. I'm kind of over do, trying to be the guy who's like, I only post wins on the games I play in the channel. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty over that. Territory IO has taught me that being the wins only guy is, it's actually a special kind of torture for any game. King's shoulders is always fun. Put a piece on your king and throw it in any direction. That's kind of neat. Getting conscription to add a pawn every five turns is not so bad. More of like a meme build though. Plus one ammo max and an extra soul slot is nice. I do, I don't mind that. I don't really love uh, Rook coming in for the backups, but I guess they're getting backup either way. I'll go for the, the extra ammo, mostly, but also I want, the, I want the soul slot. I want the solo slot. I do indeed. All right, might as well use the knight just to get ourselves up there a little bit quicker. And just try and get you out of here. And I will work my way over towards you, good sir. And eliminate you from my life and my realm. I might as well just use this, because why not, right? 
Oh, you want to do this? Get bodied. There we go. And I need to clear you out so I can actually make my way up there. Lookout tower. All right. They're coming in hot. Let's clear you out of here because I need to be able to move around here. I can just go ahead and kind of blast away the king here. And uh, I'm just going to stand still and reload and you'll come close. I don't care. I move here. And I blast away like this. Oh, but you're lucky he was blocking the shots for you. Didn't matter. You're still dead. Ooh, I don't like the idea of the undead armies. Anytime I kill a rook, a knight, or a bishop, they get a pawn replacing it, which is, that's, that's rough. So you got to kill them and they got things behind them to deal with. So if you kill something that's next to you and, and checking you at a diagonal, like a bishop, uh, then, it, then it's replaced by a pawn that just insta kills you. That's a problem. Uh, the engraved scope is, it's kind of tricky to use. Like it's, it eats up turns. You have to write, you like, you have to, to switch to scoper mode, you have to use a turn to switch to scoper mode. So it's not as good as it seems. It's decent, but you need to already have like some decent uh, damage with it, which I just don't. So I'm not sure about that. Not that plus three ammo max is really that great for me, but uh, I think ruins might actually be good for me in a way because they already have a rook and this is going to bring in another rook after X main, you know, whatever turns 20 minus however many pieces I kill before it happens. And, you know, having the rooks have three hit points instead of five is going to make them easier to kill. And we'll just have to deal two rooks at the start and a couple more pawns and we'll just have lots of ammo here. We are the ammo king. We are drowning in it. Wouldn't mind getting some more power or some better accuracy or something would be kind of nice. I'm going to zoom my way up here, get a little bit closer here. Never mind, we're checked by the two of you. Blast you away, that's fine. I'll blast over there because why not? What's up, friend? I will get you out of here too. Um, I'm just going to shoot that shot over there because why not? Might as well do it again. Hey, ease up with the trying to check me stuff here. I'm going to use this. You're going to... No, wait, no, I'm not going to use it because you're going to check me. If I do that, I'm going to move here where you can't check me. Get rid of this guy. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use this, I think. Uh, blast way over there. That's beautiful. I don't like that pawn being right there. It's going to be a problem for me. And we're going to kind of work on you right here with my atrocious aim. You need to chill, good sir. And get you out of here. Fantastic. Another another floor done. Floor, floor, queen every time. Hmm. Shooting moves me backward. I tried this before. I did not like it. You like if it didn't take away fire range, it wouldn't be so bad. The problem is like you your your range is so close. You've got to get really close to them. You shoot. It moves you backwards. And then you have to burn another turn moving close against so your back in range. So it's it just it chews through more turns than the extra firepower is worth. Unless you fight from like the edge of the map. If you had analysis paralysis, then my, this might actually be like a, a good one to have to combine with that since they all come to you. Cane and fire I've never actually used. Use pawn souls to gain plus two firepower in your next shot. I'm not sure how that works. You don't actually get souls per se from killing pawns. Unless maybe this thing lets you get them. I don't know. Or maybe like you kill them and they give it to you. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, uh, where do I want to move? You, if I move there, you'll check me. So I'll just go here, I suppose, and try and work on you, get you out of here. And uh, do I want to use my thing here? I don't. Oh, that queen is coming in hot. Oh, never mind. Let's check there. Okay, that's uh, super great for us. What's going on over here? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shoot over here. Maybe get some extra firepower. Nope, can't seem to kill any of you. That's a bit of a problem. You need to chill. I'll get over here. Get this queen out of here take you out. Luckily, you blocked the bishop from checking me. That was actually very fortuitous for me. We might have that card that gives me extra turns for using the souls. So where is this extra firepower from killing pawns? Like, I just killed two pawns. Where's where's my extra firepower? Do I need to actually, like, get do I actually get souls for killing them now? What happens here? Like, I killed you. Oh, I see. Use it. So now we do get souls. Oh, and you just absorb it. Okay, that's kind of neat. Take you out there. Okay, I get it now. So I need to, like, make sure to keep my I need to like use these things constantly for the firepower, but it's not worth it, honestly. I think it's, I it's I need to, like to get any value from it. You have to just constantly use them. It's it's kind of not not great. I need you guys to kind of not over there. That's good. I need you guys to not promote. Also, would be great for me. Okay, so should I just like keep try to keep my souls empty when I go to the next one, so I can actually pick up the pawn slots, maybe, perhaps. You are so tanky. I don't like that they uh, nerfed Black Mist. It didn't used to give you minus one fire range. That's kind of stinky. Getting protected from death once per floor. Nice. Losing one range. Bad. Also, really unlucky run. I've got nothing to... I've got not, not a single card to improve my power, my range, or my my arc. It's not great. I'm getting bad cards. They're getting decent ones. Um, I mean, Golden Aging, a little less hit points than the King and Queen. And every turn, 10 turns, the, the King and Queen move slower. That's all right. Um... 
I don't like I protected from death, good. Minus fire range, bad. I need that fire range. Um Well this adds a rook. They have low hit points. Gain ammo when I kill them. I've got plenty of ammo. This right here, remove a knight, add two pawns. I don't want that's not so I remove the knight might I, might actually help me. We'll go for this and we'll just deal with the less range and if we you know the fact is we get a free pass if we we're gonna lose, which is nice. And you know, you will have to like we have to like we, we have to murder pawns. We have to be the, the the pawn slayer here, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that. Yeah, do this. Give me that firepower. I like that I don't actually have to like move the way a pawn would to get that firepower. Well, I, I need to reload here, okay, so we will reload and we'll try to do some more murder in. We'll use this. Does it stack though? It does stack. That's a game changer. A big old blast over there. Love that for us. I'll use this. It doesn't take a turn to use either. There might be something to this. Um, I will move here and I will murder you. I'm going to use the rook to move the single tile, not because I need to, but because I want to clean it up for grabbing pawns. Kind of blast you way out of here. Okay, there might be something to this. And I will use you for movement. I need to use these. I use the soul cards constantly. If I move here, you can't check me and I get that out of my inventory. I need to dump the power pieces again. Let's use you to move here. And I, I, I just need you guys gone. It's going to be uh, important here. Use you for some mobility. You're going to come check me. I will stand here, destroy you. And I will then start getting to position to take you guys out. I'll move over to here and hopefully you don't turn into a knight to check me. You didn't. That's good. And start... Uh, get some firepower here, and then blast away over here, and uh, don't want you guys promote, because that'd be bad. Okay, uh, we have a problem here. Um, I need to not be checked right here, so we'll move here. Um, I need to... Oh boy. Uh, reload. Let's just, let's get, let's just kinda get ourselves in a situation where we're probably, hopefully not gonna be super duper checked here. If I shoot this way, I'm gonna use these souls and make sure we kill one of you. Really? Neither? You're joking with that. Surely you're kidding me. Move over here. You're gonna check me. I'll move, I guess, uh, over here and please kill them. Thank you. That's good. Get rid of this card and I'll keep the queen. I can just use it right away in the next one. And we almost lost this one, but we managed to pull back from the grip of the grave. Rank five is no joke. I never remember to use my wand of wings that last run. The Ravenous Rats might actually be pretty useful in this, I think. Might want to get that. After killing a pawn, promote another pawn if it's the last one, so just don't kill all the pawns, I guess, maybe? I mean, they're promoting anyways before I kill them all, right? Wings is alright for movements. I don't want to give the king and queen more hit points. I think we'll go for this. The, the pawns are all, for the most part, starting to promote before I kill them anyway, so... Ravenous Rats might be pretty useful. Although I would love for some more range or damage, but the, the game hates me. Not the best luck here. I could use some cards, I should do damage. I am going to move, I think, over to, uh, away from where the queen's gonna come out. And, uh, let's destroy you, that's fine. Uh, maybe we should go for the pawns first, actually, might have been smarter. Let's put some damage over there, only one damage. It's not amazing for me, I need more range to keep me strong. Use this soul here, ravenous rats, I need you to do great, wondrous things for me. Oh, they're doing great jobs. Between the souls and the pawns, I need to... Reload here. The queen's gonna ruin, try to ruin everything for me. I need to take you out. That little extra power doing great for us. Take some of these guys out. Oh, you need to chill. I'll use my little soul here. You just don't get greedy for having them all. Oh, yo, chill with this. I need you gone before I get, like, checkmated in here. Um, what if I move myself out of here for a little bit of safety? Get out of here. Blast away there before you check me. Get you out of here so I'm not in trouble. Uh, get this card out of my hand here and shoot you or not. Um, maybe just go. I mean, I gotta, I gotta rush for the king, I think. Let's get right here, move past you, move over here. You're all gonna promote. It's gonna be a problem for me. Don't love what's happening. I'm just gonna try and blast this king away. That's not great for me. I'll move here. Okay, um, I can move here and get the king out of here. Yeah, we, 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 we gotta rush the king. I'm focusing too much on the pieces. Gotta, gotta king rush. They're gonna promote. It's gonna happen. All right, we are getting super unlucky. More ammo. I don't need more ammo. I already have more than I need. Um, undead armies, again, that's kind of a problem. Kill them near me and then they're replaced by a pawn that checks me. Bit of an issue. Although, although pawns having less hit points... May, actually, pawns having less hit points means it's easier to kill them to get the power-ups and 
uh, you know, less guys defending, maybe? I don't know. And the ones that... Uh, maybe we can try it. This right here could be a problem, because when they go down and promotes, if they promote to a king... if I can't rush the king if uh, that promotes into a knight down there, and then we can lose. Um, although every 10 turns getting plus one firepower could be pretty useful, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna go for, uh, the, the, the pawn. We're, let's lean into this pawn-heavy build here. Think of the content, CG. But think of the content. I think I want to move this way over here and start just kind of blasting away in this area and use this, uh, pawn soul here. I don't want to take out this pawn here because that's blocking the queen, and so let's shoot up this way right here. That's great. And the rats are doing their thing here. Uh, use this pawn soul here. And, um, do I, uh, do I use this to back up a tile, or do I shoot here? I don't really want to free the queen, you're kind of trapping them in. I think I just move like normal, get down over here, use this to skedaddle my way over this way. Uh, okay, the queen's gonna come right there to check me, so I'll move right here. Never mind, you went there, alright, you're not really cooperating with me the way I want you to. Give me the power. Um, I guess I'll move... No, oh boy, you're really limiting my options here. I need you guys to... Stop with all this. Okay, we have checkmated ourselves. Unless I can kill you in one shot. Get out of here. Die. Come on, just shoot it and die. Good, good. Oh, the rat's doing work. Um, need to reload here. I need to, um, I'm gonna use my queen. Oh, no, no, you're gonna, these guys check me is gonna be a problem. What do I do here? Use my knight to go here. You're gonna move there and I blast you away and get some more power would be good. Blast away some more. Why did I do that? He was clearly right there. He was shaking and I saw it and I'm dumb. Ah. Oh, but the black mist. But the black mist. It saved me. <laughs> Give me that firepower. And reload that gun. And use the queen to move over here. Oh, never mind. Um, uh, over here. And then move down here to where I can actually like shoot this guy. Never mind. We're being checked by you. I'm going to lose right now, aren't I? I have... There was, I'm sure there was a way to win this, and I did not do it. I am... Wait, I'm checked all along this line. I'm checked there, I'm checked there. Uh, I can't kill the king one shot. We lost, unfortunate. All right. So this is an example of why you should uh, be a little bit more patient when you play this game and pay attention to what you're doing. But hey, I'm done being the wins only guy. Enjoy the chaos that is me playing video games. If, you don't, if you're here for wins only, uh, unsubscribe. We're, I'm done being the wins only guy. But hey, we tried. Smash the like button. Let's go.